Hi friends, this is the 11th video and also last part on polynomials. Today I am going to explain, for a given graph, we have to find how many zeros are there. That is one part. And also, how to draw graph for cubic polynomial. Okay? After completion of this part, I am going to start trigonometry. So it is a very useful topic for math students. Means in future, after completion of 10th class, those are going to take MPC like that. If they follow my trigonometry part continuously, they can catch in inter, in PUC. Okay? Right. I am going to start now. See, there is the given graph. Y equal to P of X is a polynomial. For this polynomial, for this given graph, how many zeros are there? How to find that one? Just we have to find that graph in how many places it is cutting x-axis. That's the main thing. See here, this curve, it is cutting x-axis at only one place. Okay? Here only it is cutting. So number of zeros for this, only one. Okay? Number of zeros, one. See, this is parabola shape, quadratic polynomial. Okay? Parabola opens downside here. It is cutting x x at two places. So number of zeros for this graph, two. See, this curve, it is cutting x x at one, two, three places. So here number of zeros, three for this graph. Here, this is the line which is parallel to x axis. x axis means I told you already y equal to zero. That is the general form y equal to 0 is x axis, x equal to 0 is y axis. Which is the line parallel to x axis is y equal to k. y equal to k. Here it is passing 1, 2. Suppose this is 1, this is 2. This is the line y equal to 2, which is parallel to x axis. It never touches x axis. Okay? It is parallel to x axis means it never touches x axis. It means number of zeros, 0. No zeros for this. Because it is a constant polynomial. Already I told in the previous classes, for constant polynomial, no zeros. Okay? Because they are parallel to x-axis. So here, number of zeros, zero. Okay? Now see, this parabola opens upward. This parabola touching at only one place. Okay? So number of zeros, only one. Here, this curve, it is touching one, two, three, four places. Okay? This graph cutting x x at 4 places. So for this number of zeros, 4. Now come to here. It's a linear graph. Straight line. Straight line means linear polynomial. Okay. So here it touches at only 1 places. So how many number of zeros here? Only 1. Number of zeros here for this graph? 1. Now this is parabola opens upside. It is cutting at 2 different places. Here and here. So, how many number of zeros here? 2. Number of zeros? 2. Now, see this curve. It is cutting at 1 place, second place. This is the third place. First, second, third. So, this curve touching x x at 3 different places. So, number of zeros for this? 3. Okay? Is it clear? Now, I am going to plot cubic polynomial. See, friends. Here, polynomial y equal to x cube minus 4x. Plot the graph and find number of zeros for that. Suppose that is the question. Here, this is cubic polynomial means at most it has three zeros, but it is not condition. Sometimes it may have one zero, sometimes two zeros, or it may have three zeros also. Now, first we plot this graph and we will try to find how many zeros are there. So, here I am going to substitute x values. 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. Okay? See, x, first I am going to substitute minus 2 in this. If x is 2, then what about y? x cube minus 4x, that is minus 2 whole cube, minus 4 into minus 2. Minus 2 whole cube, minus 4 into minus 2. In place of x, we have to substitute minus 2. Minus, 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 3 times means you will get minus. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. Minus into minus plus 4 to the 8. Here minus 8 plus 8, it is 0. 
Suppose if x is 1, minus 1. What about y? Minus 1 whole cube, minus 4 into minus 1. This is how much? Minus 1 whole cube. 1 into 1 into 1, 1 only. But minus symbol will come, minus 1. 4 1 is 4. Here plus symbol. Minus into minus, plus. So 4. How much we are getting? 4 minus 1 is 3. So minus 1, it is 3. Now suppose if x equal to 0, y is what? 0 cube minus 4 into 0. 0 cube is 0 only. Minus 4 0, 0, 0, minus 0. 0 cube also 0, minus 4 0, 0. Nothing. 0 only. Now suppose if x equal to 1. Now what is y? 1 cube minus 4 into 1. 1 cube is 1 only. 1 into 1 into 1. Minus 4 1 yeah? 4. Only 1 minus, so minus will come. Here minus is more, put minus symbol, how much more it is? 3. So 1 means minus 3 we are getting y value. Now what about for x equal to 2? y is what? 2 cube minus 4 into 2. So 2 cube is how much? 8. 2 into 2 into 2. Minus 4 to 8. 8 minus 8, 0. Okay. These are the pairs. Minus 2, 0. x coordinate, y coordinate. Okay. Minus 1 comma 3. 0, 0. 1 minus 3, 2, 0. These are the pairs. This much enough. If you want, you can take 3 also. Suppose if x equal to 3, what we are going to get y equal to 3 cube minus 4, 3, ja. Okay? 3 cube minus 4, 3, ja. 3 cube, 3 into 3 into 3, 3, 3, ja 9, 9, 3, ja 27 minus 4, 3, ja 12. So how much we are getting here? 15. See, for 3, we are getting 15. Suppose, on x-axis, I have taken scale 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. 0, 1, 2, 3 numbers are there. Okay? No problem. Minus 1, minus 2, all these things. But on y-axis, if I am getting 15, here I have to take scale 2, 4 like that. Okay? It will be lengthy. That's why I am not taking this value. Up to here, I am taking and going to plot on this graph. First pair, minus 2, comma 0. See, on x-axis, minus 2, such minus 2. It is yeah. Minus 2, 0. There only the point. Okay, minus 2, 0. It is first point. Minus 1, 3. First from start here, starting point, minus 1. Come left side, minus 1, 3. Upside, you go. This is the point. 0, 0. That is origin. Okay. 1, minus 3. Right side, 1, minus 3. Come down side. This is 1, minus 3. 2, 0. Right side, 2. On x axis 2, 0 y axis means same. y coordinate is 0 means they are only point. See, these are the points. Now, how to join these points? By freehand only, you have to join. Don't use the scale. See, you have to take care when you are drawing curves. Okay, just you have to show here curve shape like this. Here, you have to cut exactly at this point only, you have to turn. This is the point. See, exactly at this point you have to turn here and here. Don't come to downside. Okay. Now this is the graph for y equal to x cube minus 4x. Now observe here what are zeros here? The graph, the curve cutting at minus 2, 0 and 2. Minus 2, 0 and plus 2. These are zeros of this polynomial. This curve cutting at three places. Okay, it is touching x axis at three distinct places. So that are the zeros of the polynomial. So we are getting three. Suppose whether it is right or wrong. We will do justification here. Now justification. See, what is the problem? x cube minus 4x. To find zeros of this polynomial, put y equal to 0. Because on x axis, y value is 0. So, substitute here, y equal to 0. Okay? Here, take common. Which is common here? In x cube and minus 4x, x is common. Now, remaining part is x square. Minus here, only 4 is there. Okay? x is coming outside. Equal to 0. Here, x equal to 0. One value. Okay, x equal to 
zero. Next, x square minus four equal to zero. Okay, what is this? X square minus two square equal to zero. Four, I am writing as two square. This is a plus b into a minus b formula. X plus two into x minus two equal to zero. X plus two equal to zero implies yeah. First one, x equal to minus two. X minus two equal to zero. Second one, okay. That implies x equal to plus two. Okay. So x equal to zero. X equal to minus two. X equal to plus two. These are three zeros for this polynomial. Okay. So by this justification, we can understand our graph is right. Okay. See friends, this is the last session in polynomials. From where I started polynomials, I am going to finish there only. Okay. Now, if you followed 11 videos, you can understand this easily, and you can give the answers also. See, state which are the following are polynomials and which are not. Just by observing this, we have to say whether it is polynomial or not. And uh, what is the degree of that polynomial? If it is a polynomial, what is the degree of the polynomial? How many terms are there? Just within two minutes, I am going to finish this. See, two x cube. Is this a polynomial? Yes. It is a polynomial in variable x. Okay. This is the polynomial in variable x. Degree three. Cubic polynomial. Degree three. How many terms are there? Only one term. What is the coefficient of x cube? Two. Okay. Yes. This is the polynomial. 1 by x minus 1. Is this a polynomial? Say, our variable x, it is in the denominator. Okay? But always in polynomials, the exponent of variable should be positive integer. So, this is wrong. This is not at all polynomial. Okay? Now, 4 z square plus 1 by 7. This is constant of limit. 4 z square. Okay? Yes. Power is positive integer only. Right? This is the polynomial in variable z. Two terms. Okay, here two terms. Degree 2. Here what is the degree of this polynomial? 2. What is the coefficient of z square? It is 4. What is constant term here? 1 by 7. Yes, this is the polynomial. Now what about this? Is it polynomial? m square minus root 2 times m plus 3. Yes, it is the polynomial. In variable m. 1, 2, 3 terms are there here. Okay, second degree polynomial. Quadratic polynomial. Okay. Yes. This is the polynomial. Here. Is this polynomial? See. The exponent of P. It is minus 2. So. Negative integer. This is not at all a polynomial. Now what about 5? Actually it is not a polynomial. But. 5 is constant number. So constant numbers. What we are telling? They are constant polynomials. Okay. So it is also polynomial. Constant polynomial this. Okay, what is the degree of constant polynomial? You know, this we can write as 5 x to the power of 0. It means degree 0. Okay, 5. It is only constant number, so it is constant polynomial. Now, what about this? 1, 2, 3 terms are there. But our variable x is in the denominator. It is wrong. Okay, so this is not a polynomial. Now, what about root x? Exponent of variable x should be always positive integer. Here, what is root x? Root x is nothing but x to the power of half. It is not integer. So, this is not a polynomial. Now, 3xyz. Yes, it is polynomial. Variables xyz. Three variables are there. Only one term. What is the degree of this polynomial? Here, x power 1, y power 1, z power 1. And all these three things. So, this degree of this polynomial 3. Okay, degree of this polynomial 3. How we are getting 3? And Powers of these variables x, y, z, x power 1, y power 1, z power 1. So, total number 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 3 degree. Okay, so this is also a polynomial in variables x, y, z. Now, x square y plus x, y plus 3. Here, two variables are there. Okay, this is the polynomial in variables x and y. Now, here, 1, 2, 3 terms. Here, it is only one term. Here, 1, 2, 3 terms. Terms will be differentiated by. Plus or minus symbol only. Okay. Here plus, here plus is there. So this is one term. This is second term. This is the third term. Okay. What is the degree of this polynomial? Here x power is 2. Y power is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Here x power is 1. Y power is 1. Here total power is 2. So highest power 3. So degree is 3. Three terms are there. Trinomial we say. It is polynomial. Okay. Like this we have to understand 
which is polynomial or which is not polynomial how many terms are there okay what is the constant term in that number of terms how many terms are there like that okay right polynomials i am going to finish with this part right next i am going to start trigonometry if you like my videos please like share comment and subscribe my channel thank you